uh, bitches. Bitches! Hello, I'm not the only one in the house. Um, see, I found someone. It was a random person outside, but she's here too. And we're gonna do a little questionnaire um, about stuff that we like. So she's gonna go, I'm gonna read it, I think. I don't have my glasses on because it was super glary. And what's your favorite food? Um, I like Chinese food. Hot or spicy? Mm -hmm. Wait, those are the same. <laughs> Spicy. Neither. <laughs> neither? Yeah, neither. 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 Favorite food, my, oh shit, I, I wrote the questions, but I didn't think about the answers. I guess my favorite food is sushi. Um, not too outrageous, just regular sushi. Um, what type of clothes are your favorite clothes to wear? Band t-shirts. Band t-shirts? Mm -hmm. I guess my favorite are tank tops, dresses, above the knee. And yeah, so what? Um, what's your favorite cosmetic that you use? I don't wear makeup. Well, maybe not makeup, but do you use any moisturizer, any sunscreen, anything? Um, what about chapstick? Because okay, I use chapstick. What type of chapstick is your favorite? Uh, I have a peppermint one that I like. Oh, so you like peppermint chapstick. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite right now is uh, NARS foundation. And what's your, your favorite feature of your face? Maybe like your eyebrows, the way your nose is, your cheeks, like your facial structure, your lips, your chin. Do you have a favorite anything that you like about your face? Do my, do my eyes go? Yeah. Okay, it's eyes. part of your face. Okay. Um, my favorite... Actually, that's my favorite too. I love my eyes. I like Aww. to frame them. And she, she stares except lovingly, when I go like this. She mm. stares lovingly into mm -hmm. the mirror very right often. Mm -hmm. I do. Only when I keep them open. When I go like this, I don't like them so much. <laughs> um, what's your favorite place to go to? Either in your head <laughs> or outside of it. Projector voice, god damn it. I like going to the movie theaters. Movie theater? Yeah. That's your favorite place? Sure. Um, my favorite place um, of my memories is Lake Livingston. My grandfather owns a house there. Well, he built a house there. And my favorite memories are going there for vacation. So, in your face. I mean, in your eyes. What's um, your favorite feature of your body? My eyes. Your eyes? <laughs> I guess my favorite feature are... My boobs. Oh. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite uh, feature of your personality that you like? Wait, I'm gonna be drinking just so you know. She doesn't drink. So. My sarcasm. Your sarcasm. Your dry, witty sarcasm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's whipped cream vodka, um, cocoa de cacao, or something, and um, sweet tea, uh, deep eddies vodka, with water, because I'm an alcoholic. Um, my best feature of personality is, um, I guess coming up with stuff to change the subject. <laughs> um, what's your dream home or your dream place to live at or your dream space? Um, I've always wanted like, um, where my grandparents live in Bruton, there's this house called the Holly House and it's like this huge like house that has like. I don't know, it's just huge and pretty and I love it. So that's like my dream house. Huge, like three stories or four? Three? Two or three? I'm not sure. Uh, I like big homes too because I like to walk and I don't like to walk outside. <clears throat> and I like to walk, since I like to walk, I would prefer to walk inside, uh, up the so downstairs. So you want like a mansion? I do. I do want a mansion, but not for weird reasons. It's just so I can walk inside. Is that a weird reason? No, you can have like an indoor track. Mine says hoe bag. Yeah. I would, I'm waiting for them to build the goddamn gym. I, I'll, oh, okay. I'll let them up my rent so I could use it. Oh. Mm. My dream home or my dream space that I want to be in is mm, with everything on the floor. I want a living room sized room for myself with um but i want everything on the floor 
like my mattress, my TV just a little upset, or no TV, and a fire pit inside of my room. A weird miniature home. <laughs> That's my dream home, or my dream space. What's either your favorite concert? Yeah, it has to be one you've been to. What's the favorite concert you've been to? Mm, when I got to see My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Romance, I've always wanted to see them because they always seem high energy. They're amazing. Um, my favorite concert that I've been to so far is the second Slipknot concert I went to, which is weird because I sat by myself and um, I ran everybody um, on my row away. <laughs> Because I was jumping up and down too much. Um, and I looked to my left and looked to my right and there was nobody there any longer. All of my new friends abandoned me. I don't remember their names though. Um, what's your dream concert that you'd like to see? Um, or like to go to? Or a festival or something? My cool girl myth because they broke up. Oh, they did? In 2013. Oh, how the fuck should it's I know? It's been four years. Dear Lord. I'm sorry. I didn't know. My dream concert is the only concert that I haven't been to from my childhood bands is Disturbed. Mm -hmm. um, they came to Houston a while back, and I was not able to see them, and it rained out anyway, so I'm super sad about that. Blarg. Um, what's a... Story either in your life or your favorite horror story. My favorite horror either that story. happened to you or that you like to go back and reread. Mm, well, my favorite book ever is um, Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury, and that's a horror story. I guess I'm it's about sure. like an evil carnival. Okay, I'll I'll let it I'll let it go. Okay. What about one that happened to you or no? A horror story? Or just like a scary moment. Try not to make it long. Give us the cliff notes. Uh, cliff notes. I don't know. Well, my parents' uh, property is haunted. Oh yeah, I remember. I have stories about that property as well. Everyone does. We'll, we'll let you know later. Um, a horrible story that happened to me. Um, one time I had, uh, I was awake and my parents were trying to wake me up to go to, um, they were waking us up to go to school and I looked across and I saw my big dresser drawer. Um, the top uh, drawer was all the way out and I saw this weird freaky child doll thing st sitting up in the drawer and my mother walked by because she was trying to wake both of us up. We're just very lightly trying to get us up early in the morning because my mother was like that. And every time she would walk by it, it would go down. And then it would go down after she walked by again. And then eventually she walked by and the drawer was closed. It freaked me the fuck out for the about a week. That's Are my, you sure you weren't dreaming? I might have been, but I remember being awake. Because my mother was in there and I remember I wouldn't move until um, she turned on the lights. And then I was up, got dressed, and out of that damn house. Um. What's your, <clears throat> instead of horrible story, what's your favorite story that either happened to you or a book? Or both? When, either when I got to meet Arl Stein or Misha Collins. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Those are good. Mm. Do you want to elaborate or no? Um, Misha was adorable and I got to like, like feel and hear him laugh and that was great and then Arl Stein was like super nice so like I loved him even more after meeting him. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Mine's gonna be kind of lame. My favorite story is, isn't even one that I remember. It's when I met your sister. Aww. I know and she's not even in the videos because she's a jackass but that's my favorite <laughs> story is her and apparently how we met. Um, she sat down next to me in front of the lockers and decided to talk to me and be my friend and I immediately got up and left her <clears throat> Because Go I'm fantastic like that mm -hmm. So those are all the questions I wrote and I wanted to prove that I'm not the only I knew it and I wanted to prove I'm not the only one in this goddamn household and I will make Tony and Alessandra answer all of these questions No! Butthole? I will make the butthole and the asshole. <laughs> I will make her answer these questions. So, goodbye for now. Bye. Uh, bitches. Bitches!